Oh yes, wowza, do I have some great news for you. Oh, I can't believe, to, can't wait to share this with you, yes. But before I go into the wowza news, if you are new here, or if you haven't already done so, please do click on that subscribe button. And after you've heard this great news, you are certainly gonna wanna be giving it some great thumbs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So having seen comments on some of my recent videos, I suddenly realized that with what I'd gone through towards the end of last year with the kidney stones and, and then this pandemic starting, whatever, there was some great news I completely forgot to uh, share with you. And also I was prompted by an email that I got uh, last night because now I'm literally just back from my run, early Saturday morning run. Yes, I'm back running, which is great news. So things are beginning to get back together. So I'm back running. You may have seen the brilliant interview that I've done with uh, Marcus Brown, his first sub three marathon. He was running that epic uh, marathon with me at Dorney Lake in that horrendous weather and managed to run a sub three marathon, his first one ever. And if you haven't seen that interview, go back and watch that. And in the meantime, I'm doing those three Nike tier shoe reviews, which were all pre-recorded long before the marathon. So it's nearly two weeks, well, it'll be two weeks tomorrow when I ran that epic marathon race. And that's part of the news, which I completely forgot. And, and I'll put my hands up. Often I don't, uh, I don't overshare. I don't do broadcasts on this channel. I don't make any big deals of anything. Oh, I'm setting a goal for this, that, and the other. I'm, I'm not really overdoing on that, over egging on that. But I went to the point where it went to the opposite extreme where I didn't tell you some magnificent news that I was notified. I think it was, um, early December of last year and as I say based on some of the comments you guys because I, I have started throwing it in and it just goes to show how many of you guys do watch the details of the video so apologies for not having given you this amazing news and there's lots yeah I've got three lots of amazing news to get through and there's a hint here maybe you might recognize this two years ago today I've got my wall here of the bibs from having completed Four of the marathon majors I've got, if I, uh, let's have a look at these, you've got uh, New York, Chicago, is it that way or is it that way? <laughs> My turn, New York, <laughs> rather than looking at the camera, New York, Chicago, Boston, London and this was the virtual London bib that I'd done there which was the uh, Dorney Lake and yes it was two years ago almost to the week when I was in Chicago. Sweet home Chicago. So after me run I do have a guzzle of lot of liquid. No tea this particular time. So yeah what what was that awesome news that I got in December which again I guess I have a reason for not having overshared it or whatever, is that I got selected for the England Marathon Masters team. Yes, that's right, England Marathon Masters team. And um, yet yeah, to run this year for the England team based on my age category qualification time, a number of people who left comments on what was the determining factor to be selected each year, the year before, the uh, England Athletics determined three particular races um, for the following year and you can enter to say that you want to be uh, considered to be racing in that particular race for a selection of England Marathon Masters so you notify them you run that race and they select the fastest runners I can't remember exactly how many for each age category but uh, I think it's four five might be six per race each age category um, it might be less, it might only be two, depending on what age it is, I, I don't know. But all I do know is that I received an email, it was um, early, I think it was late November, early December, whenever it was, got an email that I'd been selected and I was so overjoyed and thrilled. And uh, But my focus at the time was to get Malaga Marathon done and obviously we all know what happened there. Unfortunately, I ended up in hospital and whatever, so um, yeah things do happen. But what's the other wowser news? Let me have a quick sip of this. So what is the other wowser news? Well, last night I got an email from uh, London Marathon organizers. Yes, yes, here's, here's another one of those bibs. Yes, so London Marathon, and like all big marathons this year, and I guess for a lot of you guys, um, sometimes I feel a bit lost of what am I to do because these big races have been canceled and I really do enjoy the buzz, 
being with people and, and all that type of stuff. And, and the time trials are great, but they just don't have that pizzazz. So yes, doing the virtual L London at uh, Dorney Lake with uh, a few hundred people at social distance, it, it was great, but I really want to do the big ones again. And, and we can only hope for the best, prepare for the worst, I think it is. And I'm hoping for the best because I got an email last night and uh, at first glance I thought, hmm, why are you sending me this email? It was from the London Marathon organizers. I thought, why, why are you sending me this email? Apparently I have to reapply. Despite the race being canceled, um, I have to reapply for a good for age. And uh, when I looked at the initial time scales, it said from the 1st of January, 2019 to the 7th of August, 2019. I thought that's a bit of a bizarre time frame um, for automatic qualification. Now the races that I ran last year and um, having been injured in spring, I was unable to run any marathon. So that precluded me from 1st of January to, despite having run Chicago in an amazing time, 306, that was October of um, 2018. So that didn't count. And, uh, and my races that I did finish was at Chester and Malaga, which were in the autumn and winter of last year. So didn't qualify. So. I was getting a bit annoyed now and thinking, hang about, you know, why have you suddenly moved the goalposts? I had my place, you've cancelled the race, I need to go ahead. But there is a silver lining in the cloud. So I carried on reading down this qualification page and it's also confusing. I mean, really guys, get your act together, sort out the communication because it just, it's just very complicated and convoluted, but the long and the short of it is, if you didn't qualify automatically for that, there was some other dates and times, but they've shortened the qualifying times, yeah? Um, so what they've done again, and I think this is the second time in two years where they've reduced the qualifying times. And they have their reasons and whys and wherefores, and I won't go into the debate of that, but the times were reduced. So if, if you didn't have that time, 1st of January to August, there is new times where they allowed a bit of a wider qualification, which is again from the 1st of January 2019, but till October of this year. Now, as you may have realized, there's been no races this year, um, for me anyway. So uh, I think a few people were lucky enough to get the Seville Marathon in on February, at the beginning of uh, this year, but, um, but for me, no, no races. That first marathon was then, but thankfully they, the window that includes my Chester Marathon of 3.08 and I think Malaga I ran a 3.08 as well. Those times should qualify for London, yeah! Now they do take the fastest but I do hope that I'm about, I'm about 10 minutes inside the new qualification time so hopefully, fingers crossed, I am one of the fastest and I will be in London for next year. But I have a bit of a dilemma bit of a dilemma and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, the dilemma is, right, that uh, I was so excited to see that I do have a time for London. Obviously, selection being, you know, that I am one of the, the fastest because they do limit the numbers that can go into these uh, good for age qualification times in London. Um, I thought, hmm, now I've always wanted to be qualifying for Berlin and you know that I've been on my 255 Berlin Express and uh, but I thought let's go and have a look at the Berlin qualification times now again that race had been uh, cancelled and it's postponed to next year and people can move their places to next year so in my brain I thought well there's no point uh, applying um, because I don't have a qualification time for one um, but then I thought well let's just go and have a look so I went in and had a look and uh, to my surprise, they are taking in the next few months, I think it starts the 4th of November, entries for the, uh, what they call the ballot. And they have an open ballot for anyone to apply, which I find interesting that they, they're taking ballot entries, bearing in mind the race was canceled. I thought people's places were just automatically moved over. I guess is they automatic, not everybody might wanna move their places to automatically go across. And uh, so I'm just looking at that. But I then went and looked at the, uh, they have a section called Fast Runners. Yeah, so I went in and had a look at that. And would you believe it, right? The age, it's not the age that you ran a race, it's the age that you are next year. 
and obviously I will be 60 next year and my qualification time is in yes now they again I've not read there is no small print correct me if I'm wrong I don't know whether there is any small print but uh, I have a qualifying time even the Dorney Lake one gets me in based on my age next year of 60 at the time of the race so uh, yes great news and I'm so happy about that but my dilemma is my dilemma is because all these races have been shunted over to autumn of uh, next year I've got uh, there's Berlin Marathon at the end of September there's London Marathon beginning of October so a week later and then my England Masters race which will be at uh, the Yorkshire Marathon where I had <laughs> oh here we go Yes, that's where I was last year, and it was due to be running. I was due to run it again. It was be it would be the uh, towards the end of this month. I think next weekend would have been the weekend I would have been running for the England team. Um, so yeah, end of October or towards the end of October will be the Yorkshire Marathon. So that's my dilemma: Do I enter the Good for Ages for both Berlin and London? and also run the uh, Yorkshire Marathon, or do I just focus on the Yorkshire Marathon and running that for the England place? Or do I go Berlin and not London, or London, not Berlin? What, what do you think? There's, there's so many choices there. With three races there that uh, I've qualified for, so much to look forward to. I'd love to hear your comments below in terms of what you think my option B. So, but right now, I'm just so happy. This almost tastes like champagne for me in terms of celebration, the time and effort and training that I put into uh, getting these times, but also the support and wonderful comments that you guys leave continually here, coming to this channel and keeping it real. Like I say, I mean, for me, I like to keep this all rounded and grounded. And yes, we live in challenging times, interesting times, whatever we want to call it, difficult times. And yes, me, like a lot of you guys watching out there, we have our ups and downs. Sometimes I feel lost and wondering what to do, but I always hope for the best. Yes, we can prepare for the worst, but I always hope for the best. And right now, I'm hoping for the best with the races coming forward for 2021. Yes, triathlon Dan, I know I left a comment on your video about uh, your races next year, but yes, I do hope for the best and for you too and everyone else who is watching. And that's why in a bizarre way and to sort of conclude, I've started the uh, new brand, Grounded Republic. And for those of you who are on Instagram, it's the Grounded Republic is the name of the account and you can follow um, that account there. We've got some great stuff planned coming out over the coming weeks um, about the brand and the uh, merchandise which I know a lot of you want to uh, buy and get and all sorts of stuff so I'm really excited about that. Yes there's things that we can do but and things that are out of our control. I'd like to focus on what I can do, what we can do together and hopefully together we can uh, make a great success of Grounded Republic along with the races for next year so let me know in the comments below my dilemma about the races and also any any anything else you want to comment about love to hear from you so i'm gonna head off now i'm gonna have me breakfast finally get showered yes i know Ooh, i know i'm all in uh, whatever condition but thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you at the next videos there are some other running shoe ones but i've got some other interviews coming up as well hopefully fingers crossed those will come off See you very soon.